Little cactus! Little cactus! I have a pet now! I'm going to love him and squeeze him and name him George. Pet. Yep. Yep, I'm gonna go play with him right now. I wanna play. I wanna play with George. I wanna play with George! Georgie, 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 Georgie. Little cactus, what did I say I wanted to name the pet? Let's see what we got here. Uh, somewhere? Yes? No? There's light. Reach for stars. I never noticed that it just says reach for stars. Reach for stars. Uh, where are the pets? M Monster Corral. There we go. Now my master can bring back eggs of other animals to raise them as pets. I can't pet them because I'm all spiky. But humans will be okay because they aren't spiky like me. This is correct. Hello everyone, I am Roy Chicken and welcome back to more Legend of Mana. In the last episode, I got a pet and that's like all I remember. It's been like months <laughs> since I recorded Legend of Mana. I do remember that our main objective right now was to get as many of the like creation things out of the way as I can. I'm going to try to work on that. Actually, let's go check on George. Is Has George hatched yet? George. George. Hello? Nope. Nope, not yet. Still waiting. Anytime. Anytime. Alright, well, we'll see, well, we'll see, see what, uh, what I get from that, but not right now. So I think today what I'm going to try and do is, if I have the Oaken Mines, I'm going to try to start the mission that gets me the ability to make weapons. Because that is cool, and I want to share it with you. Let us see how we're doing. Yeah, it's been a long time since the Legend of Mana. I um, I had a period where I like recorded a ton of stuff just all in a row, and poor Ed has been trying to get through it. Oh, I don't have the Alkan Mines yet. Nuts. Okay. Um. Well, uh, Dama is always a good place to start. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, so I don't really remember where I was. But Domino's usually a safe bet in terms of trying to find things to do, so let's go here. Maybe I'll go here and find us something. Ah, Domino. So beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, this game, this game is so nice. It just fits like a like a like a warm glove. I don't know why the glove is warm, but warm is usually associated with comfortable clothing, and I want to say fits like a glove in a positive way. So, uh, it's a warm glove. Hey, Diddle. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I broke up the band. Hang on, I'm sorry. I broke up the band. I Yoko owned. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to! Oh, fudge. Uh, Capella? Hey, bud. Uh, hey, where did he go? Um, ah, well, he'll be back. I'm gonna go check on him. I'm gonna go check on him. I'm sorry I didn't mean to break up the band. Y'all okay? Outskirts of Domino. Anybody here? Anybody here? No. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> uh. I have not found Diddle. Diddle was not that way. Oh, <laughs> Capella! <laughs> You refuse to let me pass, do you? D did you see Diddle? He always does this to me. My juggling won't be the same without his tune. Y you going? Gotta go look for him. I guess I'll go ask someone. Alright. Well. Looks like we found a mission. Let's follow Capella. Maybe he's got something to do. I guess I could ask you. Hello. I saw a bird carry something into the air. If you want to know about the bird, ask the bird. Alright. What? What? There's a bird in here. Miss Yuka's a bird. Oh, here we go. Oh, I get it. You suspect me because a sproutling told you that a bird took your friend. Well, uh, we're not suspecting you to be the kidnapper, but... Well, perhaps this will convince you. I can't fly! Oh, yeah. I forgot you're a chicken. I'm not a chicken! I'm a canary! So, so you got a problem with chickens, lady? Huh? Huh? You serious? What do you mean, are you serious? My bad. Although I did see Diddle by a stamp a while ago. 
Perhaps the pelican has taken your friend. That makes sense. I'll buy a stamp and get the pelican's attention. Uh, see ya! Oh, that didn't go very well. You promised chickens, lady? To where ha could little diddle have disappeared? Search for clues where you last saw him. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of weird. She's like, <laughs> it sounded like she was trying to be like a, a, a narrator. Where could Diddle have gone? Perhaps you should return to the scene of the crime before advancing things. It's the last place we saw Diddle was here. Is there anything here? Clicking around, and then around, there's nothing here. Nothing here, okay. Um, Maybe go see the pelican? She's usually over here. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. That way. Yep, yep, there we go. Oh, there's Cabela. What you doing, bud? <laughs> Screen transition? Where did Diddle go? Since he's kind of clumsy, maybe, uh... Maybe he stuck a stamp on his face. It was taken by the pelican. You know, like this. Undelivered mail! Undelivered mail! Huh? <laughs> she's got like a... She's got a contrail? Ah, let me go! I'm not male! Are you female then? Please don't interrupt my work! <laughs> she, like, she charged up before she shot away. She's like, <laughs> Let me go! Diddle's letter. Alright, well that was weird. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> problem, problem, problem. Uh, where, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Um, Pelican, where did you take my friend? Pelican. There she is. That letter is a mistake. Whoops, did it take? Took that lead to the highway right away. Yeah, all right. You took it. So you took a monkey, a juggler monkey, to the highway because he was not a letter. That's what you did. <laughs> You're like, oh no, this isn't mail. I'll drop it off on the side of the road. <laughs> it's like, oh no, what do I do with this body that I suddenly realized is not in fact a package? I'll just drop it on the side of the road. <laughs> Why'd she take him to the highway? Why didn't she bring him back here? She even came back here. Why didn't she just bring the monkey to uh, to where he lives? <laughs> Makes no sense. But now we're going to the highway right away. So there's that. Highway! The Luan Highway. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Bum, 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 bum. What is my weapon right now? Oh, a spear. I like spears. Spears are cool. Okay, I'm down with that. Hello, bugs and rabbit. Now we fight. Now I teleport. <laughs> so I'm related to news. I'm actually playing this on a new PlayStation 1. I'm very excited about that. I, um, I finally got myself a, uh, first model PlayStation. Um, you know, like the, the old rectangular gray one. Because, like, I, I, um, I only ever had the, the white PS1 model. Like, the one that was actually called PS1. Um, which I think came out when the PlayStation 2 was out. That's the only kind of PlayStation I've ever had. Um, like, it's hard, to, it's hard to describe. I only ever had a PS1 that was a PS1. <laughs> like a PlayStation 1, the PS1 white model. I never had the gray model, but my friend, who lived up the street from me, that I, I played a lot of PlayStation games with, had the gray model, and um, I've always wanted one. And so I finally got around to the beginning ones. I'm very excited. And I also have, like, a gray PS1 controller, and it's, like, all cool. Or a PlayStation 1 controller, and it's all cool, and I like it, and I'm excited about it. So, yeah. And, uh, something that the first model PlayStation, um, had that, uh, like, 
subsequent versions did not have, it's got a reset button. <laughs> and that's exciting. <laughs> you can reset. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's so cool. It's so cool to be able to reset the console. Yeah, Gus Marimba. Hooah! No, no, I, uh, I lost my whatever it was. Doggone it. So I get for Gust marimba -ing. Actually, what the heck? Mighty Javelin, Cyclone, Wizard, Dragon, but... I've only got one spell? Wasn't I gonna make spells? I thought I, I thought I made... I thought I made some instruments. Did I make some instruments? Wait a minute now. Magic. Yeah, I made some instruments. No, I'm not using my cool new instruments, like... The Bow Harp. I want to use the Bow Harp. I also want to use, uh, something else. I'll use, um... The Force Flute. Yeah, the Bow Harp and the Force Flute. Huzzah! Oh, hey, look! It's a letter. Wait, so was the Pelican saying that she brought this letter here? I always thought she was talking about Capella, but maybe she actually meant this letter? Hey, there's a letter! Hey, Capella. It's the letter that Diddle wrote! Uh... Um... Uh... Nope, nobody's watching. It's not yours! Hey! I love that really exaggerated. Hey! Hey! The, my friend was kidnapped and this letter's our only clue! Uh, of course I'm gonna read it. <laughs> Jerk. Dear mother and father, I'm doing well here. Okay, that's normal. Let's see right here. I'm doing shows with Capella, but it's not going well. Only butterflies and taco bugs up watch her shows. <sighs> I was really like, I was really like that moment. Where he's just like, he just puts his arms down. He's like, yeah. It's like I know how you feel, man. Nobody comes to my streams either. I, I'm tired of it, so I would like to go home. Man, I can't believe this. Where are you going? <laughs> Come back. Where'd you go? So yeah, uh, apparently Diddle didn't want to be in showbiz anymore because it wasn't working out. I get that. Oh yeah, she used my new, my new instruments. Ow, ow, dude. Come on. Come on, I just want to hit you with ma- Come on! I just want to- I just want to hit you with magic! Stop shooting arrow! <laughs> Stop it! I just want to hit you with magic! Yeah! Feel the wrath of the Force Flute! Yes! He shoots me anyway. Stop that! <laughs> this game is amazing. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good game. I actually, um, when I was in undergraduate college... Uh, oh, hey! It's Diddle. What are you doing here? I got lost. Diddle! Stop running off on your own! Let's go back. Here, isn't this your letter? You put a stamp on your head and got delivered or something, right? Wow, Capella. That is what really happened. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, uh-uh. Capella, you didn't open and read my letter, did you? Of course I didn't. I wouldn't do that kind of thing. He looks away. Really? Uh, he, yeah, no, he didn't. He didn't read it. It's fine. Uh, of course, he wouldn't do that kind of thing. Smile. Oh, that's cute. That, that's right. Let's go, pal. Let's go. Wait for me. So something I didn't understand for a long time. I think Diddle is supposed to be a polywog. Uh, Ed, put up a picture of Diddle. That's Diddle. I could not tell what he was supposed to be for a very long time, but I think the idea is that he's like a polywog riding like a little machine or something. But it's super weird looking, really. Very odd looking character. I mean, this game is full of odd looking characters, but... Um... Oh, yeah, I was talking about undergraduate. So, um... When I was an undergraduate, I had a job at the school. Um, I worked as, like, a office assistant. 
Um, and I had the coolest boss. She was so amazing. Um, really cool boss. But uh, she had a son, and uh, he was like, I don't know, 10, something like that. Young kid. Um, certainly young enough that I wouldn't really have expected him... Expected this from him, but apparently he was super impressed that I owned a copy of Legend of Mana. And I remember I was, I in turn was so impressed that this child knew that this was a masterpiece that I was like, you want to borrow it? And he was, it was the most exciting thing in the world to him. He was like, really? And, uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, sure, you can borrow it. And, uh, he like, he, like when I gave it to him, it was like I, I had given him, you know, like a, a precious artifact or like a, a perfect, uh, you know, I don't know, work of art, which is this. So it makes sense. Um, but yeah, it just made me feel good. It's like, this guy's young, but he sees how good this game is. He sees how good this game is. There's just something that's hard to replicate about this game. And I would say, so, I talked a lot about the remake when I, um, when I was playing through this before, because it had just come out. Uh, sometimes past since the remake came, came out, and I've played all the way through it. And while I would say that it's a, you know, it's a fine remake, there's nothing wrong with it. I still feel like the original has something the remake didn't have. And, you know, I think part of it is that they made the remake, like, widescreen. And so a lot of things don't look as good <laughs> in, like, a widescreen format. Like, there are a lot of places where you can see too much of the screen and it kept throwing me off. Like, a person that hasn't played the original probably wouldn't notice, because, I mean, you wouldn't have anything to compare it to, but playing through it, I, I, I just kept thinking things like, wait, that's the screen's supposed to scroll here, but it's not. Or, like, you're not supposed to be able to see that over there. Or, like, little, little things like that kept cropping up for me. But that said, the only I would say the only thing that I have not... Um, there are only two things that I've not done... Two achievements I have not gotten in that game that are preventing me from, uh, platinuming it. One is the achievement to, uh, grow every piece of produce, which admittedly is just kind of, that that will come over time, uh, because I've already got a toadstool shed, and that's the hardest thing to grow anyway. Um, it's just, there are a lot of little things like apple socks and, uh, rhinolopes, and I think, uh, Mango elephant. Um, that I still need to grow. Capella, you didn't. You really didn't read my letter? Uh, uh, did all. I'm sorry. I, uh, sort of read just an itsy bitsy bit. Oh, he's sad. I'm not gun going to be mad at you for reading it, but. But why didn't you tell me that in the first place? There he goes. Diddle! There it goes! Oh no! Problems! Um, and then the other one is, I still don't have the, um, I'm not level 99 yet. That's another one that will just come with repeated play. I just kind of wore myself out, because I, 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 I actually played and got every single event, which was one of the achievements, too. Um, and, uh, so I, I really did a pretty thorough playthrough of the, the, the remake. And I do still recommend it if you have no other means to play it, but just something about the original. I'm a snob about that kind of thing. Something about the original is real nice. I don't know. I just think it looks nicer. I'm one of those people that, uh, I mean, you can tell from the kind of footage that I put online. I like seeing a game in its original format and resolution. Like, I actually think that pixelated games look worse when they're higher resolution. I like I like how things blend together and look a little bit more fuzzy on a, on a CRT. And, you know, that to me is the aesthetic that they were going for. So, like, that that's that's part of the reason why I, I play all these old games in their original resolution. It's because, I don't know, I think it looks better. That's me. That's my own little philosophy, I know. Hopefully it doesn't bother people. I like to have the originals. It's important. When I can. I mean, I'm, there's some things that you can't avoid. 
but I try. I try to get y'all as authentic an ex experience as possible. That's why I always get upset when my stream audio is bad. If you've watched my streams, by all means, please go watch my streams and go check it on twitch.tv. Um, every Thursday night. <laughs> um, I get so upset about my <laughs> about my audio quality. I want it to be good. It should be good. Good on it. Important. Where did they go? <laughs> Where did they go? Guys, come back. I'm just going to guess that they went down here again. Hello, boys. Time for more magic. Yes. Ha! Ha! Stab, stab. Ah! You shot me in the foot. Why? Ooh, I got an Elder Bow. Well, I guess it's not that exciting. It's, it's just exciting to get, like, a new piece of equipment. You know, it's, Elder Bow's pretty ordinary. I always like I always thought these kind of little like vines here right at right in the front of the screen kind of looked like a closed Venus flytrap. That's what that always looked like to me. I also really like the way this cave looks. I don't know. Do you need me to tell you any more about how much I think this game looks good and is wonderful? I feel like I've said it enough by this point, but I'm gonna continue to say it because I still think it's very good. <laughs> still really like it. Dragon's Bite! You wanna go? Ha! Take that, Chobin Hood! Force Flute! Or Bow Harp! Get some! Whoa! Did you see that sick dodge? He's just like, whoa! Don't hit me. I got another Elder Row. There are lots of them in this game. Now, one thing that they did do for the remake that they didn't do in this one is that the, uh, the treasure chests come back. I was surprised about that. Like, when you, when you do a new game plus, the treasure chests come back. I'm like, oh, look at that. That's nice. <laughs> that was always one of my major gripes about this game is that, like, if you do repeated new game plus, uh, run-throughs, there are certain things you can't ever experience again. One of them is the treasure chests. Another interesting thing that they did, um, like a change they made for the remake, uh, which yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It's like a, a, a visual impairment thing. Um, in the original game, there were a couple of places where there were puzzles that were color-coded. Um, with a lot of those, they made them color and shape-coded. Because, you know, for a person that's colorblind, they wouldn't be able to tell the difference, necessarily. Um, and so they made it so that uh, the different colors also had different shapes. Because because at first when I started, I'm like, wait, that's why is this not the right shape? And I was like, oh, it's a colorblind. Oh, hey, Capella, what's up? Man, I lost him, and there's a monster over there. What am I supposed to do now? You fight the monster. Or rather, I fight the monster. Give me a sec. <laughs> I'll go take care of this. I'll take care of this. I am Mo, Mighty Mo. I will save the child, but first I will get this treasure. Hang on. Awesome. Got that grave dirt. <laughs> I don't know why that was in the chest in here. Oh, hello. How are you, Giga Rex? Something about this thing looks kind of insect-like, doesn't it? About an edge. Ooh. Well, that didn't do very much. What about the bow harp? Ha! Ah! Boy, I'm not doing much this guy at all. Okay, never mind on magic. Yeah, see, part of the reason why I want to get a better weapon, or why, why, why I want to get the weapon building option, is that, uh, I just need better stuff. My weapons aren't very good. I was actually thinking of, um, doing a stream, maybe, once I, uh, excuse me, once I had the ability to, uh, 
make weapons, I might do a stream where I just kind of build some weapons, just do some smithing. Because the weapon making system in this game is very complex and also super opaque. Like, it's not easy to tell what you're supposed to do at all. It's not well explained, at least. Uh, and that was one thing they didn't change for the uh, remake. Not a whole lot of description in that one either. Um, and it's interesting. Like, from what I understand, uh, it is... I mean, you might expect this considering it's a computer program, but there, it's, it's very math-based. Um, and what's, what, what's fascinating to me is that... Uh, the way I learned about the tempering system in this game was sort of made it feel more mystical like there was a lot more like question about it and then there was like well it depended on who you were listening to uh anyway hey how was it did you find diddle oh huh oh cool oh, it's diddle song i love diddle song what are you doing in a place like this capella what what i was looking for you where were you um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was looking for you, Capella. Y um, y you were looking for me? Uh-huh. I wanted to say I'm sorry. Because I am always mad about something. Oh, come on, Diddle. You're always mad? Look at me! I was looking for you so we can be friends again. <laughs> well, you sure do have your own tempo. But I'm not going to be friends again with you. What? Why? <laughs> because we're already friends. Case closed. Come on, let's go. Wait for me. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, what's up? You got something for me? Oh, gator skin. Cool, thank you. And that's it. Yay! Diddle's letters. Okay, so you can see kind of like that thing on the left that's kind of coming off the back. That's his tail. And he's got, they look like ears, but they're supposed to be like side flippers. that are coming off the sides there. And you can see his hand down on like he's got a hand and an arm coming down that's on the wheel right there he's just a very odd looking creature and i could never figure out what he was but yeah i think he's supposed to be a tadpole anyway that's gonna be it for diddle's letter um in the next episode we will continue to you know try to make get to the point where i can make weapons so i hope you'll come make a trophy for that i am the more chicken this is legend of Mana, and thanks for stopping by <laughs>